This break is brought to you by Netflix. For a free 30-day trial, head over to netflix.com slash gamebreakertv. Now, back in March, a young boy of the age of 14 shot both his parents for taking away his video games. And now he's set to possibly be tried as an adult. So here to tell us more about all this is Tori McGrath. So Tori, fill us in on just exactly what happened here. Hi, Olivia. So yeah, um, Nathan Brooks was accused back in March of having shot both of his parents, supposedly over a grounding from all electronic devices, including his video games. Okay, so, so what was the grounding over specifically? Well, apparently he had a bad habit of stealing his parents' credit card. Um, also, he got in some trouble and had a, he actually received a detention for skipping classes um, in school. Mm -hmm. So, as a punishment, his parents took away all of his electronic devices for two weeks. Um, he obviously was not very happy yeah. about that, and what he did was he went to his kitchen, um, where I, his father, um, I guess, had a twenty two caliber pistol, and he picked the lock on the gun safe and took the gun to his room and sat in his room listening to music for like an hour and a half. Wow, okay, so wh what happened after that? Well, after after sitting in his room for a while, I guess debating what he was going to do, he actually headed into his parents' room and shot his father in the back of the head, and then he actually shot his mother multiple times um, until I guess she stopped moving. Goodness me, that is just that is just horrendous. That's awful. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, apparently, though, they were both hospitalized, and they are both okay, but they did have to undergo some surgery. Wow, I'm, I'm re really, really glad to, glad to hear, excuse me, they both pulled through that. Okay, so, so clearly he was caught, and how did that all go down? So, apparently, the, um, the boy's father, and I can't remember his name, um, he was able to call the police. The weird part, though, is that when the police did show up, um, they told him that it was an intruder that actually shot them oh, right. and that he had um he actually had already fled the scene um unfortunately for them for whatever reason if they were trying to cover it up um the dad actually had cameras set up in the house to monitor um Nathan while he was doing his chores and homework and right. all those kinds of things so it actually caught him on video of him going to get the gun so i mean there was no way that like, it was very clear that it, he had yeah. done it. Yeah. And so now he is, he was arrested and he's being charged with two counts of first degree attempted murder. Wow. So, so the news has come that he might actually be tried as an adult. So could you explain what that might mean for Nathan himself? Well, I'm no lawyer, so I've d I did as much research as I possibly could, but mm. from what I've actually, what I have gathered is that he could be facing 25 years as a minor. Wow. Um... The biggest difference um, between being tried as an adult and being tried as a minor is that he would actually, as an adult, be in prison rather than juvenile hall, though mm. his bail is set at $500,000. Goodness. So, I mean, what what do you, th obviously, it's a very hard to really say for any kind of certainty, but, but what do you think caused him to do this? Um, well, like most, with most of these cases, um, it seems like the parents are not entirely responsible mm -hmm. parenting wise. Um, you deal with a lot of like absentee parents that are just, they're not there or, you know, whatever. They're just not, they're not paying attention. They're mm -hmm. not, you know, noticing what their kids are actually doing or watching or playing. Um, but, you know, you, you know, even the fact that they had webcam set up just to monitor what he was yeah. doing is kind of a big tip off. Yeah. Of what kind of parents to me? I mean, certainly like either the, I would think the reason they would have it is either he's you know, he is doing things he's not supposed to or he's not doing the things he's supposed to do or they're just not around. Mm. So um, I don't want to accuse anybody of doing anything like that I don't know for sure but yeah. it does seem typically when this type of thing happens the kid in question has some sort of mental illness that isn't being dealt with properly how so how do you mean um well with a lot of mental illnesses just like physical illnesses they do require a level of extra attention mm. so um even when these parents aren't providing that necessary attention or treatment um obviously the mental illness is going untreated or is improperly treated and, you know, with a mental illness, it's kind of a big issue. Mm. Um, 
of course it is as well with the physical illness. Um, then you combine that with, you know, violent video games or movies or anything, um, inappropriate, even age level or whatever. Um, even, I mean, this case, he said that he was, he basically, Nathan explained it as that he was practically addicted to video games. He said that he was playing them 24 seven prior yeah. to his grounding. And that's kind of a big deal. I would, I personally would say that's an addiction. Mm. Um, but all those things combined, you know, you, you kind of end up with a recipe for disaster and this kind of thing ends up just, it happens, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's very, very sombering news, obviously, and um, a, a, a difficult topic to talk about. But thank you very much yeah, indeed, definitely. Tori. Yeah, thank you for filling us in on all of that information. Of course, yeah. it will keep you updated on this at Game Breaker. Uh, so do stay tuned to Game Breaker TV for all your gaming news and needs.